how you want it. That's it. episode 18 i'm back at pagham after a few months see if anything's uh, different in here um i love this arcade after our last visit um but yeah i'm alone again today i'll probably venture to south sea after this but see how it is two free goes on this topper had mario's in it last time i forgot how drifty it was it gets shallow it'll be all right this is fitted with Transfer UK, as all the machines here are. I might try it again. Two, three goes though. And then the jumbos. Oh, one of them seems to be um, off. Yeah, that one's off, unfortunately. This one isn't though, so give it a go. Oh, that's going to extend. That's empty, actually. It's quite filthy. There we go, the jumbos. And that looks incredibly strong. I'm actually looking at one of these at the minute on eBay. Um, I know if you're a few years like myself, you probably would have seen it as well. Good rigging. So now it has huge Pikachus in that. So I've actually just spoke to the owner, he said this arcade's been going 40 odd years now. Um, I say he's got a lovely arcade, brilliant stuff in it. Nice guy, he says he's trying to keep all the retro stuff running. He most certainly is. Uh, a few things are down at the minute, which is unfortunate. But um, yeah, brilliant stuff in there, guys. If you are this way, please come here. Honestly, he's a very genuine arcade. Stitch again. Just hope I don't shoot that. Mm -hmm. Well, I may not do that. There we go. Good rig. It's hard to interpret these jumbos. I'm not used to playing very drifty machines, but this is how they were designed. Must have worked for most operators because uh, Instant Source of Matrix has taken this into consideration and made the uh, Max Grabs drifty. I believe that's intentional. I've seen a bit. good grab on anything today. I'm up on my Pokemon card in there. This one seems like the best bet, a good prize to get. Unfortunately, there's quite a few machines broken. Well, not broken, they're just out of service at the minute, guys, here, to be fair. Gotta give them credit where due, though. They aren't, they're not just scrapping them on the spot, they're trying to fix them. Uh, the manager's around the back at the minute trying to fix an older machine as we speak. 
That's actually got that quite good. What good rigging. Brilliant rigging. There we go. Oh, it's lovely here in these sounds. Just don't think I'll be able to get anything. Maybe that one. I need to get some more chain gel. Absolutely classic arcade. This is. I love it. It's the sort of arcade I want to see everywhere. Sounds on this topper as well is just, just superior. Oh, that was a silly move for me. Drag it out. See, I need it to spin right. It is shaking at the top, so I'm telling it ain't on payout. Drag it out, come on. Ah, lucky. Magnet cranes are unfortunately not running today, but um, I will go back and try this jumbo, the one side that is working. There's always potential to get lucky. This one's not actually twitching at the top. It's like the um, it's like the jumbos take better to having a processor fitted than the toppers. Good grab, good rig again. That, that's the sort of rigging you want to see. We've only got a few more pennies here to spend. Good grab, brilliant rigging again. Strong clamp at the bottom. That's exactly what you want to see. <laughs> you cannot hack that rig in, boys. That's brilliant on an old jumbo. Last go on this one. Let's see if I grab it right. Good rig. So yeah guys, there are seven. Uh, it could be a dead minor roll. I'm gonna swap the gantries about when it gives me the key. Um, obviously Euro Grab, this is 1994 top of the box. I'm gonna swap the gantries, we're gonna check the loom cables, we're gonna check the switches. Right now it looks like a dead motor, but it could always be a cause of the loom cables, guys. They only give me a prize. Uh, you can find the key for the uh, toppers to get into the cabinet. So I'll come back at a later date, he's got my number. I reckon I can fix that issue for these guys here. Try out these jumbos, last few goes there. Oh well, we've got a prize, not exactly one one, but uh, we've got one. One box. They're so expensive though, mate, aren't they? Like 500 pound a piece. I'm back at South Sea. Sorry, it's South Sea again. I've, I've somewhat fallen back in love with this arcade at the minute after the last video here. Um, this episode is going to be a bit of a mess because we was all here the other day and I've got some footage. That footage will be shown first after this clip and then footage from now will be shown after that lot. Uh, my brother got a belter of a win. I also got a belter of a win. So stay tuned for that. I think you guys are going to love it. Max grab now. Andrex, I feel like this one's got low drop rate, but you might hit play out. 
Yeah, low drop rate. Try this one. Don't think I played it last episode. Ah, good rigging. these Mickeys. Drop rate again is quite low. Try and love our geese, he's in the wrong machine. Yeah, these do drift mum, they're max grabs. I'll try once more. Well, the old Mammoth Crane control panel boxes. Uh, just found it here in the corner. Uh, this is one of three they used to have here, obviously the old temple design. Uh, I don't believe there's any more parts from these up here. I didn't even know this was here, but yeah, this is it, guys. Right, guys, I've still got the um, coin back in there. I can't actually get my flashlight on for some reason. Guys, there is also an old panel here from the Mammoth Crane, uh, one of the three. Uh, it's still there, look, just one individual panel. These are bolted to the back wall, look. This is behind Big E. Big E's in action there right now, my mum playing it. Uh, even though the core cool thing's just one. But yeah, that's the Mammoth Crane panel. The box is up there. And uh, yeah, that's good stuff. Guys, I'm not even joking with you. They've, the manager's just given me the cabinet. I've, I've preserved part of a Mammoth Crane. Unfortunately, don't have the original button on it. Uh, it's got a start button for some reason, but I'm allowed it. That's crazy. <laughs> Uh, it's upside down now, so out there. I wonder where all my friends get the photos from. You stand in it and it's all upside down and it looks on the stand and I can see them. How much is it? Oh, £10. Pounds. Is that? That's not bad. Yeah. That's bad. Jeez, she's meant to get a change. Yeah, she's got £10 now. This side on the Quattro finally accepting money and there's a few prizes that ain't buried on the rest of the sides. Drops quite low though. I'll give it one more. This side is not fit for the one. Uh, that's unfortunate. There's actually a cocoa melon in this side. This side's the good side of the quattro. Usually anyway. I'm actually going to give this side a pound. And I think another... Give it five goes. This side uh, has got the one, whereas the other side didn't. Good rigging, this one. Really good rigging. Just a shame it's Monsters Inc, as you all know. I think Monsters Inc have been in claws too long now, and I, I have both uh, Sully and uh, Mike Wazowski, so I have no need to go for them. Be nice if I actually grab the thing though. Okay, I'm grab it again. Sorry, guys, in the middle of the uh, glass door that's here. This 
sweating buckets after lifting that mammoth crane control panel out. One of the old temple ones as well. Be nice to use it as like a uh, foot locker or something. A shoe locker. Very rare part, guys, as you all know. Mammoth cranes I've now managed to save something of one of them in South Sea. It's the one I've got a video of um, Abby playing early on in my channel. I don't know what episode this video is going to be, guys, because I saw I'm going to split them up for you uh, just so it's not South Sea all the time. But um, South Sea's been quite good to us recently. So we decided to come down again today. Yes, Peter Pan in this one. Looks like we could drag him out. Right, this topper crane, guys, that I showed last video, has had all the prizes taken out. It's been stripped, the covers in there as well. Hopefully this one will be uh, repaired, but we'll see. Starting this arcade with uh, Super Week. Right, usually the best topper in here. It's got more different prizes in it again. And I've bloody missed everything. Looks like it's closing quite slow, so I might go for the bigger thing in the back. If it doesn't pick that up, I might try that again. Let's see, if it gets under it, it wants to get it, but... Sweating buckets, guys, I'm not going to lie. I don't know, but this is usually a good topper. Oi. I thought he was going to explore or something. It's called Gabby's Dollhouse. Meow Meow likes this. <laughs> there you go. Right, the big minion, the last surviving working mammoth crane here. I'm actually going to go for the octopus, purely because it looks lighter. It's going to stab Iron Man or the juice thing though, isn't it? Oh, it actually picked it up slightly. It's not ready to pay out though, unfortunately. Is it grab snapping? I check every time I come, just in case it starts faulting with the one. Pretty cool if it does to be fair. No, it's not grab snapping. That's good stuff. Alright, I'm gonna go for one third the back, just got some air under it. Wasn't good for us last time, but um picking up today, but it's not ready to pay out. And then good old twitchy mega crane in there. Is it still twitching? Doesn't look like it. Let me get change up. Yeah, it doesn't look as if it's twitching now. Could be payout. Pick them up. Win! Nice! Grab snap. Usually the faulty one. Another red football. We've got one in uh, the Swanage episode. Lovely. Playing the better machines now, man, aren't you? The old mega cranes. Go for the skinnier ones in this one. Maybe the white one with her head up. It's got strength, you just need to get under it. I've not actually won off this row of Mega Cranes before, so the fact I won out of that one is brilliant. I need to go for a head. Ah, uh, it's too small for this type of floor. Seems to want to get that one. I'll put another goal on that. Wish I tried that one from the start now. Nah. 
Right, go on the dodgy one. Uh, Mick Pizza person, here's the lighthouse right next to me. But the prizes, they just don't appeal to me. Oh, there is a sus in there, a little packet figure one. Right, try the old dodgy one. Is it still doing it? Yep. Yeah. Ah, weak. Try this one. Toppers never seem to get these uh, iced bubble teas right. That seems to have got it though. What a rig! Really good rigging. Got a mad overbite as well, so maybe. All the prizes seem to be quite close to the shoot, so must be good for everyone who plays it. Good rigging. That's exactly how you want the one set. Maybe if I go for one closer to the shoot. Like that, come on. No! Huh? Put 10p in and now it's... Yeah, you need the old ones. That's not going to get any of them now. Need the old ones. Spin right. Oh, I've dragged the yellow one out now. That was so close. I think I can get this, guys. Oh, don't go too far. Try the stitch one. It's very good. I reckon you'll win out of it. You just got to grab them right. Trust me. Trust me. It's got strong. I need money out. Right. Best bet's got to be this one if I can free them up. Without bloody stabbing them. Preferably that yellow one next to the shoe but I'm worried it's not going to grab when it's like that, I don't know it's a drifty Mark 1 topper, you've got to remember these are from Mr Bean so they are Mark 1's come on pay out no One that looks good. Another one that looks really, really good, guys. Preferably that Yoda at the back, but I doubt it reach. Yes, it's dragged them out. One more win. Oh no, that's gone.
decide to sacrifice it and go for the uh, climb. I'm putting this one now. Don't know what's up with me today, I just won't give up. These prime bottles are quite a weird shape, so. I do want one though. Even though it is prime, and I know a lot of you hate it. I don't mind it, I just wish I wasn't like a massive, massive craze, uh, craze over it. That is, uh, yeah, that's not getting that now. Chance of getting payout with a max grab as well is slim to none. In my experience, anyway, I've done quite a few in my time, but here, anyway, no chance. Just to end the episode, got no time on the park in here, guys. I'm honest, but um, it's what it is, isn't it? We get stuck in between two claws. That ain't it. That's close to being it, but that wasn't it. Whoever comes on this next is getting a win. And they put bigger prizes in it. That's how you want it. That's it. Biggie win. Another one. We cleared out Biggie. Beautiful. There we go, guys. Cleared out Biggie. So guys, this is day two of South Sea now, uh, the, uh, from this clip. Uh, I'm sorry, it's a bit of a mess. I'm a bit of a mess myself with uh, life at the minute. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, but you guys' support really helping me. And um, I've come here myself today just to, you know, get out of the house, have a little bit of enjoyment, hopefully. So thank you for supporting me and uh, we'll get into this. Uh, I've tried this Max Grabs. I say guys please go to Pagan Amusements if you're in the local area he's such a nice guy the manager and now he deserves all his custom that he gets this one's recently been emptied I can hear it in the uh, coins dropping through nah. two goes on these megas not that these ones are any good other than the ET one but there's no uh, other ETs in there still so no point in really playing this one I only get two goes on these because uh, the 25 p a play, there's not really much point in me, um, you know, leaving the goal on for 20p. I mean, that's supposed to be selling 30p a play, but, uh, nah. Massive thank you to Selsey for giving me that mammoth crane box the other day. I really, really appreciate it. Don't have the soundboard in it, unfortunately, but it is a mammoth crane PCP at the very least. Genuinely had no idea I was in that until I got back and uh, drilled the locks off of it. I tell a huge lie, there is an ET in here with the jumper now. Something tells me the one's not set up great on this one to uh, sense these prizes as I did win last video two of these in the space of a day. See, so look, you get them right. I'm going to put a quid in this one. I'm not going to spend too much here today because I'm just spending so much money. Plus I do have work, it's uh, midnight tonight so I do need to go home and get some sleep. After this video of course, I still have two plays on this one. Maybe that one was back up. I know I said I didn't want the same ET but he's actually got air under him. So maybe. Uh, it seems as if it's actually loosening now. 
must have learned the prize or has been overpaying and it's adjusted itself. Oh, but he's in a good position. I'll give it one more. One more pound purely because he's next to the shoe. No, I'm going to end up shooting it every time now, though. See? Come on. Oh, almost. Would love a win off this maxi claw, but... I doubt I'm going to get it. I'm not even going to bother playing it, to be fair. Ah, ah, that does it. Best max grab in here. Now restocked with uh, Donkey Kongs and Princess Peach, which are the two I need. That just rings so good. That's what you expect in the max grab, guys. If you're not getting that on the max grab, there's no point. Because the tech in them so good, that's how it's supposed to be. Around the arm, come on. So much struggling in the ring. this one as well. Probably a bad idea. I know how the box works in these. You miss a payout go, that's it. Just resets. Like that, that could have been a payout go, and now I've lost it. I don't think I've actually got a uh, match grab win on this channel yet. Actually, I do. I do in the shorts when they used to be at uh, 10 pin. Not 10 pin, uh, Hollywood Bolt. All them machines have been uh, withdrawn and scrapped, I believe, now for e claws for some reason, even though uh, Max grabs are better than e claws by a country mile. Here we go. Now I'm going to struggle getting this Donkey Kong so I can't interpret the drift. About three years ago, we came here and we won loads. Haven't been that lucky here ever since, other than them two um, big E wins last episode. I guess you can class that as on par because they're massive prizes. Guess I'll try Princess Peach. Yeah, that's it on that one. Guess I'll give one go on this at the grabber. This is in the little arcade. Oh. Yeah, I'm not going to try it again. <laughs> Right, I'll try this quattro, see if I can get this sunny. Maybe not that one. Seems as if it could be the only gettable one in any of those we have. Oh! Quite in this one now. No, I've done it again where it's tricked me. Try this one, hope it spins right. Drag him out, drag him out, drag him out, drag him out, drag him out. Maybe not. It looks as if it could be ready, but this one, this one side always does me. Just not gonna be able to get it this side, am I? I have to go for the one I originally picked up. Fitted with the one, so if it is ready, it is definitely ready. Go one more quid. Then that's all one. Oh, let's get in because it is a Monsters Inc. machine. No, it just it seems to have gone incredibly weak on me. Because his back's not up. I want air under these. Yeah, no, no more of these it look gettable to be fair. Spin, spin right, not that way. No, it's not going to get him out, is it? Last go. Just going to go for this one again and hope. There we go. I'm going to try it again though. Try this side which is blurting out to traction mode. 
types of a play. And there's, there's definitely got one now. Good crap. Ah, uh, brick. Mammoth crane's still there, guys, with all the stuff in it. But uh, it just seems seems to look like it's just awaiting its fate now, if I'm honest with you. Which is unfortunate, but you know, sometimes these things happen. And as I've just experienced in Pagham, most arcade operators don't have time to try and retrofit these. It's understandable now. But the issue is, these older machines, if you fix them, they're gonna last longer than the newer ones in my eyes. Like just the simplicity of how they're designed is just easier. Instead of all these intricate components and all this stuff from China. I'll give it another 50p. No arcade seems to want to take that separately. Alright, go for Peter Pan again. This side of the one? Yes. Good. As long as I don't have Super Grab. I know I'm a Super Grab user myself, but um. It has its faults, like uh, when you miss payout, it resets. Definitely not a bonus when you're the one playing the machine. Because not all four of these sides have um, the one third, unfortunately. Oh, I'll go, just go get that pound. It's always a chance, isn't it? Doesn't seem to be twitching at the top either, either the one set how it's supposed to be or it's ready. That was ready though. Come on. Oh! That is ready. A win. Nice. Rough snap. No grab snap. I guess the one is off. That's very strange. Or it didn't register and it's still on payout. That definitely loosens, so it's not um Oh it's gonna air a six. Alright, he's come to fix that, so that's uh I can have my final two plays. Oh uh, and then the right button doesn't work out, it's unfortunate. Still looks strong. Oh it's done it again. I don't know why that's error sixing. I don't think the wheels are on correctly, but it doesn't even look as if it's spinning, so it's gonna open up, guys, ready? There you go, error six. Mammoth is still alive and working. Well, the sole one. I guess I'll go for this Among Us here, just hope I don't shoot the thing. No, I stabbed everything else. Oh, it looked like it had some strength. Give it one more. Hope I don't stab everything. So I start snapping. No, luckily it doesn't. Please don't shoot or stab anything. It's gonna stab that octopus. So the mammoth crane did start grab snapping when I stopped recording on that go. Um, not going to play it again to show you. You've seen that one do it before. But yeah, guys, it's not um, it's not great, is it? Try this one, the poo one. Ah, that's got under it. What a rig! To be fair, that was really good from uh, the top row over this side of the arcade. Usually, none of these want to pick up. It's rigging it though, but um, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna try again. I've got a lot of uh, Winnie the Pooh's last few episodes. Then the last one at Swanage, another Tigger. I think that's the third thin Tigger I've won on this channel now. 
so strong. I mean, I can't get it again. The drift, guys, the drift does me. Well, I've got a Euro Grab crane and not a Mark 1 topper. Drift seriously does me. Now, there's not much point trying this one. Going to anyway, for the most. Mario. Don't get why I won't just change the settings on these two. Let's try this one. Turn with this one. Sometimes, sometimes it's amazing. Sometimes it's terrible. So I actually pick the thing up and you see it loosen. It's probably the worst thing to go through, to be fair, the last guy on it. I don't think anyone's won out of it since I was last here, but... Older toppers. They don't like 10 P's. <sighs> Guess I'll give it a pass. Oh my days! See, this is this this one's evil. Earlier on in this episode, now it's it did me. Now it's doing me again. Topper and stuck at the top. Otherwise, I'd get a good clamp every time. Good clamp if you don't stab it. That is. I reckon I can fluke this one. It's just a matter of how much I want to put in it to try and fluke it. See, because it comes right next to the chute. Now it makes me want to put more money in. <sighs> nah. Then this one. I bet it's rubbish today. <laughs> hate them. I hate these two. These two toppers in air, I hate them. They literally show you how good the one is. As the manager was telling me at Pagan, they did have the one and then they needed repairs on the machines and the guys took the one out. I put Church Fair UK in them because apparently whoever repaired them for them said Church Fair UK was better. Uh, I now, I know we all know that's not true. But that did happen, unfortunately. That's how you want it. That is a win, thank God. Grab snap. Thank you. This one looks as if it's had it's all all flown about in here. Obviously this one's got the dodgy uh, string motor or whatever you want to call it. Fortunately it doesn't drift that much, so I should still be able to get that one. I went down fully that time. Give it one last go. I was going to want any of these old 10 P's actually. Especially not this one. Let's go and get 10 P's out. Last two pounds of the episode, guys. Very dodgy string on this one. That was weak. Guess we'll try this one. It's 
grabbed it. Oh, you can have a pound, my friends. Again, sorry if I don't sound great this video either, guys. I am going through a really rough time right now. So I'm not in the best of moods myself, but um, it is what it is. That's why I'm where I'm just here to try and get on with it. Thank you for all your support. That really does mean a lot to me. Definitely helps me. And how good this uh, channel has become in recent months. I really appreciate it. All your support really helps. Uh, two more goes on this one from that pound. That first go had me thinking I was going to win, but um, seems strong. It's just a weird shaped prize for these older relock doors. Can we fluke a uh, max grab win for the remainder of this video? Oh, 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 oh. No. This one, usually the best one in the row of this evolutions, you know. See, you can hear the clamp and it just it grabs them so good. I guess I'll just try go for piglet. Because I haven't actually won piglet yet. Probably have one somewhere in my uh, nan's house because my nan likes to pick all the stuff we win and whatnot. Before I had a machine, that is. See, look, grabs them so well. Best set match grabbing this arcade. Now, this one, I don't know if I get that red one. I'll try it. I think it might drift a little bit too far. No? Good rigging. Try it again. Can't expect much different from the max grab, but. Uh, Oh, did put my goes in. Oh, I didn't accept the 10p. Makes sense. Another clip for the South Sea episode. We've been so many times now, but as I said earlier on in the video, I know it's a long one, uh, we have fallen back in love with this arcade. It wasn't me who suggested coming here tonight, it was the claw thing, as he wants to get some footage, but yeah, try the Mega Crane straight away. Obviously with a dodgy ass coin mix. And uh, yeah, let me get a play on this one for you guys. Alright, two plays on this one. Is that ET one picking up? Oh, this one's picking up as well actually. It did have air under it though, but um, maybe. If this, uh, I don't know who he is to be honest guys. That seems alright. I mean, I don't know. I'm not really sure. I think this one's usually good with the tempies. I say that. That one looks good as well, Ben. Got it. That's it. That's a. Oh, I think that's ready. I think that's ready. Right, I'll put two plays on this ET one. Oh dear, maybe this one ain't ready. Go and steal the poor thing's footage in a minute because he's going to win that, I reckon. Nah, it loosens. Whoops. Did someone just knock on the door? <laughs> yeah, no one here. I think that loosens, to be fair. There you go. It's actually picking up though. Surprising. This one's got yellow string as well. This one never picks up. And that one's got yellow and all. There you go. It's quite good. Alright, two more goes on this one, because why not? They are mega cranes. I do have they don't really test my patience purely because they are mega cranes and they're better than the weak ones in the old arcade which isn't open tonight too late because it is like eight or nine o'clock i believe no try this one he was just on see if i can snag it 
Oh, look at this. This one's called Neck is incredible. Oh. Oh, and that means. Hold on a minute. Why is putting like tons of money? What? Why is that doing that? Well, this is the fastest mega crane on the road, isn't it? Come on, come on, that's a win. Yes. Grab snap. Nice. <laughs> I got two more goes on it as well. Oh, button, button got stuck then. I don't look as if it's strong now. There's a ratatouille, guys. I will get out in a second. Get Tweety. No. Alright, ratatouille. From the yacht mega cranes in the main arcade. Nice. Alright, try some green one at the back. I just missed it. This max grab straight away gets a pound. Don't even need to try it first. I know it's good. I say that and I've stabbed the shell. That wasn't ready anyway because it didn't close fully. So I can tell it would have rigged me. Ah. Chances on these are just so slim, at least from my personal experience. Wow, the rigging on this one's superb. Yeah, we need Penguin one as well. The Ice Luigi is sick, but he's not in there, unfortunately. Oh, another one, another quid. I enjoy playing this max grab. Got to be the only max grab in this arcade I enjoy playing. When I get the thing, that is. I didn't loosen it at the top, but then again, I didn't grab the prize to see. Brilliant brigand, absolutely brilliant that is. The super tease grab. Oh no! I really want a max grab win. I might have to put another pound in it. Come on, come on. Ah. Oh. Last quid in it. Purely because it is a good one. Uh, don't go weak on me. I just need to hope I don't miss it on a payout go, otherwise that's it, it's game over guys. Let's go that. It's just a shame it opens at the top. Massive props to Ian Eason though, making uh, these machines with the tech as good as they can be in them. This one is set exactly how I guess Ian would have imagined. No, I haven't tried that one. This one is a teaser, like literally it's hit the, this Mario's head smashed the shoe, yeah, bounced yeah, back in. It's a bad grab, yeah. How's this one? Deary me, that looks crap. <laughs> right, try this to grab her. This one next to it has a white gantry box for some reason, or carriage, whatever you want to call it. That 
a nuisance. Right, I'll try this Gabby Dollhouse one now. Oh uh, yeah, we got the elephant. That rigging. And a hippo we don't have. What? Why are they set terribly? Right, Big E. We want this Care Bear, we got the Bulldog. The problem this is, you're going to need to get in between two claws. Why did that jam at the bottom? Go, 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 go. Get it. That's a win. No way. That's a win. No way. There you go. I've got this. How have I won? <laughs> no way. Care Bear. Four videos. Four videos. How have we done that? Oh, four videos in a row, we want out of this machine. What? Try this max grab. No doubt it's the lowest drop rate known to man, but we'll see. Good clamp and lowest drop rate known to man. Right, another max grab. This section of the video is just in the main arcade, so it's purely going to be max grabs and obviously the mega cranes at the start. That doesn't look strong enough to get anything, to be fair. I really want this uh, Mickey or Minnie Mouse one or the other, isn't it? And I've uh, missed it like a spang. Let's give it another go. Old 10 bees, really, I should save them for the Megas, but uh, I doubt I'm going to play them again. Purely because the carpet makes it so hard to grab. We got very lucky that we run off of it. Low drop rate. Right, wouldn't be, wouldn't be a good episode if I didn't play one of these machines filled with these prizes, would it? <laughs> it's just so low drop rate. I'll try this one. As you can see, guys, only a few more uh, 10 P's left. Obviously, this is just a late trip. Right? The cool thing wanted to come out and uh, play a few games. Southsea's only about a half an hour drive from us, for, from uh, Southampton, so I thought I'd take it. I thought I might have had that then, but I uh, did rig. It's when you grab one. Right. It pole drives it to the floor. Does it? Yeah, look, it's ready? It's me playing one of these. Ready? 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 Oh, I did that one. Oh. Go for that Michelangelo. It won't be, it's not going to the it top. Does not, it does not. <laughs> <laughs> the cool thing's playing a barber cut. Ollie Madewell, this is for you. He's put a pound in, I think. We've never played these, so... We're gonna be terrible, I doubt I'll play. Right, let me get around. None of these look frayed enough, Ben. That's way too far. <laughs> We're terrible. What? Oh my God. Did that cut? No. That actually cut it a bit. I didn't think that made it. <laughs> what? Ollie, I'm not sure if this is the one you always win out of. It's uh, this one opposite these max grabs. Obviously, you and James would know because us three are regulars here along with the four thing. Oh, a little bit further forward. I've got to imagine if you win. You go put another quid in. Looks like it's on payout, guys. No, I wouldn't have a clue if it's on payout or not. Huh? Yeah, imagine you get another tenner from it. Oh, missed. You missed. Too far. Yeah, it pulls it. Too far. It's not frayed enough. None of these are frayed, actually. That one's probably your best bet, to be fair. Stop. Oh. Uh... I missed it. I'm not playing this ever again. It looks alright though. Right, stacker, not a game I play. Oh crap. Oh yeah, that's I think that's the one Ollie plays. Skip! Skip me! Oh I'm not trying that again. That was a definite skip. I've done well for my first try playing one of these in years. Imagine putting one of these claws on a on a mega or a topper. I wonder if it would work. Time for a max grab. Oh my days. 
Yeah, I've only ever played a few that haven't slid on me. I'm gonna go for the Enderman in the back. Just hope it don't shelf. Please, no. <laughs> Track him out. Right. How have I got 40p left? How have I got that? Uh, last go of the episode. I know Max grab, and that didn't accept my 10p. Like literally about 10 minutes, probably. Been there for 40 minutes. Have we? <laughs> no, that's the last go of the episode, guys. It's been a massive long one at Southsea. I'll see you guys in the next one.